All right. All right. Here we are with a uh, German project, Pegasus Prime. This is um, this is a director's cut remake of the original German project, which, if I recall correctly, came out in 1993. This game came out in 90. 97, I think. And it's uh, updated. They changed some dialogue to make it fit a little bit better with the rest of the, the games in the series. And um, also just generally updated graphics and such. <laughs> yeah, updated graphics. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit when you see it? But no. Um, I, I think I actually played the original version of this. Um, some time ago on my stream. Uh, but I have never played this version of it, so... <laughs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see what this looks like. Oh wait, is the bot not in here? What the fuck? Why is... Here we start the bot here. The year also, is, is, the, is it a little loud? The location? It's probably the a little loud. The metropolis of Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, Humanity that better? reclaimed and restored their once ravaged Probably. planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened. I tried to check the audio, but then this discovery. uh fuck. Time travel. <laughs> this seek this 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 started and it was disaster. really loud. Government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now have to be forever guarded. The Unified Earth Government formed an elite agency to protect history. On a day when an unlikely and unproven member of this team was monitoring the time stream, the unimaginable occurred. Wow, spoilers! Blackwood, spoilers! Agent Jesus! <laughs> Why does the opening sequence have spoilers? <laughs> Why? I guess I had a tweet about this, huh? That's a thing to do. Yo, I am live with the thing. Um. Yeah. It's gonna be frozen because I have it minimized. Don't worry about it. It's gonna go through that again, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Stop that. Alright, there. I did a tweet. And you can stop again. Oh, fuck me. Alright, let me just sort this shit out so I can see the chat. Cool. Alright, let's get started. Not a lot of settings to be had. We can watch this lovely opening sequence.
Damn. Sounds of WKIM too big. Kevin Gloria. Mm. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Don't tell me you overslept. Damn straight. Whoa, you look awful. <gasps> Did you have another one of those nightmares? You know, you really should talk to the doc about that. Anyway. This is just a friendly I just started. I just started. Was supposed to relieve me at 0700. Remember, it was your idea to draw straws, and you drew the short one. So, you get to hold down the fort while the rest of us go and watch the Sabrolan delegate procession. She's totally not reading her lines. <laughs> I now, love FMVs, though. On time for a change, and I'll let you watch my op man when I come back. See you later. Wake up. Wake up. Pro tip, if your job is to make sure that the timeline stays intact, you shouldn't you shouldn't sleep in. It seems that you have slept with your neuroocular prosthesis on again. Your monocle needs recalibration. Stand by. Uh all right, so we got an energy the bar. Energy level warning light is operational. The energy level counter is at 100%. The e through the inventory control panel. Also, how's the audio? You currently have no inventory items. I did an audio check, Going but the biochip display when they panel. talk, it sounds really loud. You yep. have the AI biochip installed. Initiating self-diagnosis of onboard artificial intelligence. Um. AI unit is fully operational. Cool. Agent 5, recommend you set an electrostatic shock reminder so this repeated <laughs> calibration routine does not continue. <laughs> also, hints? Hints? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Also, there's gonna be a lot of, like, little differences in this game that are gonna irk me just because I have a ridiculous amount of nostalgia for the original one. But I'll, I'll try not to bitch about it too much. Anyway, so the energy in this game is basically how much time you have in each, like, section. Um, when it runs out, you get automatically pulled back. Um, though I don't know that that, like, automatically ends the game, and it's not- it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I need to use- I have to use the arrow keys for this game. So, uh, give me just a minute and I'll, um, bind those to my G13 so it's a little bit more comfortable to move around. I don't know that I have to use any other keybinds, but you have to use the arrow keys to move. Which would be in just incredibly uncomfortable, as you can probably imagine. So, there we are. And now I can move around. Cool. And it's all, it's all much more smooth than the, uh, the original version of this game. What do we have here? Also, by the way, I am late for work. Or will very soon be... Well, as you can probably tell by this, I am Gage Blackboard. Oh my god. Do you not like this? Look at this. This module is blank. For information on ordering additional. No, I want to go to desert. Okay, no, I don't. I want to get out of this. I want to get out of this. How do I, how do I get out of this? <laughs> okay, there we go. So, I'm- my character is Gage Blackwood. I'll go into the, uh, the bathroom and you can see. Agent five. Yes, I know. I'm late for work. Thanks. Agent- Oh, god damn it! don't sit down. Okay, awkward movement is, uh, sometimes an issue. Now, where's the bathroom? The bathroom is- that's the exit, I think. So this should be the bedroom. This is on GOG. I got this on GOG. Um, so, uh, I am Gage Blackwood. I am Agent 5. I work for the, uh, TSA, the, uh, Temporal Security Agency. And, uh, it is my job to go to work and make sure that the timeline doesn't get fucked up. You have 
two messages. First message. Just calling to say thanks for the Thai food last night. Sorry I had to leave so early, but this story is the biggest break of my career. I think you'll be able to catch me on your environ system. I'll call you later. Bye. Oh, right. Second message. I can watch the news on the environ system, I think. I sincerely hope the reason you're not answering your phone is because you're already on the way to TSA. I've already been late to work twice this week. I need you here on time for a change. To relieve Agent 3 for the alien procession. Don't disappoint me. True. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, right, and I need... Aha! I did play through just a bit of this just to uh, familiarize, familiarize myself with it and make sure it would work. And it took me a while to figure out where the hell they'd stash this thing. Um, because in the original game, it was just on the desk after you wake up, I believe. Um, so I need to grab that before I forget about it. And that might fuck me up a bit too, because I'm, I'm, I remember where things are, but they're the wrong places. So this is the bathroom and, uh, I can see myself in the mirror, which they've replaced with a nice FMV of a face instead of, also the, the main character, the main character didn't have, <laughs> Cut back on the Chinese takeout. <laughs> this game didn't have, uh, the main character didn't have a name until the second game. So any reference to Gage Blackwood or the face is uh, new to this version. Let's go to um, Retro Thrash. Retro Thrash. Oh my so, god. <laughs> for your current work Amazing. Let's look at the Geo Wave. Geo Wave. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. Amazing. And agency we'll just do standard. agency standard because that's what I need. Uh, all right. I don't think there's anything else that I need there. I am going to watch the news and then I'll head out so that I'm not late for work. Because if you are late for work, the game ends and you die. <laughs> well, if you're too late. I mean, you're already late. So let's see if I can watch the news here. The following is a Here we special go. report from INN. And this will give you some backstory. Good morning, Caldoria. I'm Mark Johnson. But look how realistic INN the graphics look. Notified that the Symbiotry <laughs> Ambassador ship landed moments ago. <laughs> and a fleet of Thyrolan ships has approached Earth and is now in geosynchronous orbit over Caldoria. Our reporter Megan Love is live on the scene at the Capitol building where the alien procession is scheduled to take place. Megan, can you describe what's going on down there? Thank you, Mark. There's a tremendous crowd on hand to witness this historic event and the atmosphere can only be described as electric. As most of our watchers know, it was in 2308, just three years after the World Unification Accords held in Gorbistan, that Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sirolans. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they call the Symbiotry of Peaceful Beings. They told the world that the purpose of this alliance is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then left, after saying they would give us exactly ten years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return, and all along the streets, the people of Keldoria are waiting for the gates to open so they can catch a glimpse of the Sirolan delegate from the Capitol lawn. We will keep you informed with up-to-the-minute reports about this historic event. For the Interactive News Network, I'm Megan Love. What I meant... Report from what I meant was that they're, they're like actual people, and I love it. I love it. So there's the backstory. There's the backstory. I need to get out of here as soon as I have a mouse. So, um, it, that, that...